Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a good day. Storms rolled through yesterday. Not, nothing bad, really. Just, just rain and wind. And it's cooler today. I had to run my pellet stove for the first time in a week or so. Keep the plants warm. I had to turn it off this morning because it got pretty warm in here. I didn't know the sun was coming out. They said mostly cloudy today, but the sun actually popped out. And I come in here after I got home from the grocery store, and it was 97. So I opened my window, turned the vent fan on. It's not on now, and we're at 81. So good temperature in here. Everything's looking great. Seedlings are up. These are new ones. So those are my cone flowers and snapdragons and impatience. Not up yet, but I don't expect them to just yet. Could be a week to two weeks on germination. So we'll keep a, a close eye on that. And as far as everything else, we're looking good in here. So quick update on my hearing. Um, I'm on my seventh day of steroid which I took it this morning, I put it in milk, I know, disgusting, but I didn't have my little coffin fit, so it worked out. But I've noticed things seem a little bit more calmed down. I'm not noticing the constant rumbling like I was before. I guess they call that tendonitis. Um, my hearing seems better. I think obviously some of that's due to the ringing. It's definitely not got that rumble going on this year and things were better when I went to the grocery store today. I didn't notice as much like oversensitized over noises and everything. Um, sometimes when I got a whole lot going on, I still notice it, but not like before. So I'm praying it continues to still progress on the good side or at least say it as good as it is now. So I'm very thankful for that. It, it's, it's relief and I'm very blessed that God has given me some relief with this whether I'm just getting used to it or it's getting better or maybe a little bit of both. So that's my update. And I am headed down the chicken coop because I didn't go down there yesterday. I stocked them up the day before that because I knew it was going to be rainy and yucky. So I'm sure there's a pile of eggs down there I need to get. All right, I got my salad, my water, and my egg carton. It's really not too terribly cold out right now. The wind's not blowing. Say it's in the 50s, low 50s. It just feels cooler because it was like near 80 last week. Oh, this weekend, they say Saturday, we're supposed to be in the 30s, have a.m. snow, and be 18 that night. So I'm not super looking forward to that, but it's not going to last long. It's going to warm back up after that. So not too terrible. Let's give these critters some some grass and clover. Good grief. Good grief. Back up. Back up. <laughs> what y'all doing, chickens? Everybody's looking good. What is it? Do you have something to say? Do you have something to say? I've loved these domes I got off Amazon. They have kept my water so clean over the winter. So we're standing on top of my water buckets before I had these domes, and obviously, you know, that's gonna create a lovely mess because there's poop all over it. And it gets down into that little hole on top. You gotta have a hole on top of these in order to make the water come out of here. But you can put this over it and it still allows that air flow to go through there. Good grief. So it keeps the water much cleaner. Dirt and debris don't fall in there. It's a, it's, it's a thousand times cleaner, which I'm all about clean water for chickens. Cause that's, that's something that you definitely have to provide. What is it? You can close my windows. A little pretty egg pile going on down here. I have a visitor. <laughs> what are you doing? I think you're going to try to sneak out. Whew. That's just what I needed. Hey, hey, get back in there. Go on, go on. Oh. 
this should be fun. my fault. I just left that door open. That little sneaky leg horn. Pull one over on me like that. All right, y'all. I'm back. I'm back in my basement. I've decided to open up this little tank that I had in my greenhouse before. I think I'm going to raise some little guppies in here. They breed really well in captivity and they have live births. They call them fry. And I've always wanted to do it. I thought it'd be really fun. So I think I'm gonna use this little tank right here just for them. And it's really climate controlled in here. So I'm gonna give my hand at it and see what I can do and just have a little fun. And I'll keep you guys updated. I wanna find me some really pretty ones first before I, before I start. I wanna, get this I wanna get this tank cycling real good first. It still has all that good bacteria in here, but I wanna get it set up for a few days and then see what I can come across as far as some, some cute little guppies and we'll We'll venture in and do this as a little fun project. <laughs> Hi hey guys. Welcome back to this old greenhouse, woodworking edition again. So tonight, Seth and I are working on a wedding present for friends of ours, one of my co-workers, and I am making them a little box that would set on top of their countertop for their utensils and much like the the kitchen islands that we did the kitchen island and the two vanities that we did we used barn wood that was important to her from her papaw and we were able to use some of that stuff again um, and it's turned out pretty nice it's not the easiest stuff to work with but it is what it is, and it's not terrible. So that's kind of what we're doing right here. Final glue up. We'll get this set tomorrow. I'm gonna to take some, I'll try to go tomorrow to our home improvement store over here and get some butcher block stuff that, that seals butcher blocks for your countertops in the kitchen, because it's food safe. And this, since this is gonna be around you know, food on the countertop, have utensils in it. I wanted to make sure that this would be food safe. So that's what we're doing. We just about got it done. So tomorrow I'll come home. We'll, we'll finish sand real quick. Maybe Seth come down tomorrow morning and finish sand. I think he's got to work tomorrow. He's got to go earn a living. So that's it. And there it is. Clamps on it, make sure it's good and tight, be good to go. Okay. Awesome, see you guys.